All right, it's time for me to kill the hype on another altcoin that I know you guys love. The last time that I did this was with my very good friend here, Shiba, when I was warning you about it crashing when it was trading all the way up here, and I told you that it was going to come down to this price level. So I know that you're not going to like to hear this kind of stuff, but of course, if you appreciate truth, the fourth life channel is where you're going to find it. And Matic, so this is a huge coin. It's blown off a lot. I don't need you. I don't need to tell you guys exactly what's been going on with this coin, but if you somehow missed the boat, uh, this coin saw a ridiculous ridiculous like 30,000% gain uh, within a fairly short space of time. This is 21,000, but it's actually gone a lot more than that if you look at this chart on Binance. So very, very impressive gain for this coin right here. But one of the key problems I'm seeing with it right now, right, is that Bitcoin obviously is, a not, is not in a nice place right now. It's in a pretty bearish area. If you've seen my last video because you're already subscribed, then you're going to know why I think Bitcoin could be looking at dropping down by quite a lot. I don't actually think it's going to happen, but I've outlined for you guys the problem possibilities and the primary problem that I'm seeing right here is that you know when Bitcoin is about to enter a really bad bear market or if it's going to drop to a level like 30,000 which definitely looks possible at this point I'm not saying it's probable but it definitely looks possible well altcoins like Matic they're generally going to be the last things to kind of be it's almost like you know the Titanic is sinking but there's still like the five idiots that are dancing and having a good time because they haven't really realized that the party is already over and things are about to go really really bad that's what coins like Matic are doing right now potentially uh, and I want to show you why that is right because Matic is doing something right now which Bitcoin has already done uh, and it's very typical for coins like this to be uh, repeating what Bitcoin has done but a little bit later on and nobody really realizes that because they're so blinded by all of the hype and again that's completely fine right it's fun to be hyped up in these markets but this channel is here to tell you guys the God's honest truth about what I'm seeing right here and if you find that useful if you you appreciate that that i have absolutely no fears about the mob that's gonna hate me after i make this video again do me a favor smash up those likes subscribe if you're new to this channel because matic right here is in a potentially very, very dangerous place where it has been slowly trending up in this rising wedge pattern now since all the way back in July or August, uh, where it kind of entered this range. And it's just, it's been condensing in terms of price range. The, the highs have been getting higher, but the lows have also been getting higher in such a way where we're not in a parallel channel, right? If we were in a parallel channel, it would look a little bit more like this and we're not in one. The range is actually narrowing. Uh, and this is generally quite a bearish sign. So if you watched my previous video on Bitcoin, Coin, you're going to know about this, but I just want to highlight this to you very, very quickly. And I'm not going to tell you the key thing in that video uh, for why it could be very, very bad for Bitcoin. You just have to watch that previous video if you haven't done so already. Just pause the video now, go to that previous one. But what happened with Matic, I'm sorry, with Bitcoin here before is that it formed exactly the same kind of pattern right here that Matic is in at the moment. I'll show this to you with Bitcoin over here because it's a little bit more clear uh, where Bitcoin was rising up really, really quickly. Uh, and then it entered this rising wedge pattern and it broke down massively. And we know what happened here. It managed to break down from this point and from the breakout point down to the low that we set it was a 48 percent drop or from the kiss of death to the low that we set it was a 51 percent drop it was absolutely disastrous and matic is in exactly the same situation right now it's just doing it a few months later on and that is where is the matic chart? Oh, here it is. And that is what potentially makes this thing so dangerous right now. It's in another one of those patterns just at the moment. And by the way, it's formed patterns like this before, right? This pattern that matic is in right now is exactly equivalent to this pattern that matic formed before. It's just a lot less steep. And if we look at this on the four hour time frame, we'll really start to see the, the key similarities between these two price ranges right here is matic was doing exactly the same thing previously, just in a much shorter space of time where it managed to enter a little bit of a short term downtrend and then it formed the rising wedge and it broke down and we didn't just form it over here we formed another one right here this one's actually a, a little bit more obvious if i replay the chart and i show this to you on the one hour time frame uh, this is an even clearer rising wedge pattern where it's broadly just kind of you know still setting these higher lows and higher highs but just kind of generally moving slower uh, and then breaking down which of course we know is exactly what happened to matic and it you know again i mean another another example is where it did it right here where it did it right here matic forms these patterns all the time crypto forms the cryptos form these patterns all the time it's a very normal pattern in the cryptocurrency market uh, and the fact is is that different coins form these at different time frames uh, and, and especially because matic has already displayed a characteristic of breaking down from these kind of patterns that's what makes this one potentially scary and what i want to draw your attention to is how this happened on bitcoin recently because i know that a lot of you guys are just not going to be open to accepting this possibility but you're certainly going to understand why i'm saying this in, in a moment now because bitcoin formed exactly the same kind of pattern when it 
it looked a little bit like actually i'm sorry this is the wrong way to draw it uh bitcoin formed exactly the same pattern when it looked a little bit like this right here uh where broadly speaking and this is exactly the same setup that matic is in right now uh where it actually it managed to set a high it dropped down and then it entered a rising wedge type pattern a little bit like this where yes we had a fake out but eventually we ended up getting a real breakdown out of it and it was absolutely disgusting very very disastrous for the market where bitcoin ended up seeing a huge crash down of about 23 percent from that breakout point or down by about 30 percent if we measure it to the low and this is exactly the same pattern that matic is in right now and that potentially makes it very very dangerous and i'm going to expand on all of this in just a minute to give you guys even more background information on why i think this could be the case but also why look matic might actually end up being fine i'm going to give you a more rounded picture of all of this in just a minute so stick with me here but first i want to get to why i'm looking at that one dollar target so if we draw this right now on this chart again let me just switch this over to the logarithmic uh chart because it's it's a little bit because matic has been rising up so quickly it just makes more sense to look at the log chart uh, and by the way, if you don't know what I mean, there is this button right here on Trading View at the bottom right. If you don't know what Trading View is, by the way, there's a link in the description. You can sign up to it. Uh, but uh, this log scale really kind of changes the chart and gives the uh, the price to us in increments of percentage change, not linear price change, which is uh, actually this is the true way to view charts. It's just generally I stick to the linear chart for simplicity. But uh, right now, the linear chart doesn't make sense because Matic has had such explosive price action. But the point here is that if we kind of measure this from our first support hit over here to the high uh, we actually have a situation here where matic managed to uh, rise up by about 45 i'm sorry drop down by about 45 percent if we measure it from this high to the support area that we hit about 40 percent 45 percent and if we do manage to get a breakdown from this point right now uh, and we draw this down by about 40 percent because that's generally kind of what we're looking at that does give us a potential you know speculative target of about one dollar right here so i just want to break this down for you again generally we're going to be looking at the height of um of the whole move uh from the support to the resistance from the first support hit to the first resistance hit we're going to be measuring that height up so this is the first resistance hit uh down to the first support hit that's about a 41 percent drop and if we manage to break down let's say you know by the end of this month uh you know that could be a pretty disastrous situation for matic right there potentially taking it down quite low and it actually makes sense in terms of time frames uh you know everyone in the nan was expecting a bullish november for the whole crypto space and that didn't happen everyone was expecting a bullish december that hasn't happened so far either uh you know january january generally is actually a very bearish month for the market and you know if bit if you believe that bitcoin is actually going to be trending lower for quite a while which is definitely possible i'm not ruling it out uh well then you know we could be looking at a situation where i mean altcoins are going to get really smashed because the key thing right now is that i think a lot of people are still you know potentially holding their breath on bitcoin you know still a little bit hopeful that this thing is going to be okay but i mean it's it's printing a disgusting chart right now i mean look at this there's just yet another bearish confirmation right here that the bears are in control we're setting lows for today's candle right as i speak look at this i mean it, it's it's pretty terrible and um and, and the key thing thing is that i mean if this market is if bitcoin is actually going to be dropping by a lot i mean yeah right now matic is doing pretty well but if this thing does actually turn into a pretty nasty crypto winter or you know a bitcoin winter even if it's for a short term you know kind of time frame i'm not saying it's going to last forever at all uh you know that's generally when these coins really get dropped pretty quickly because they're only rising because they look sexy right now but they're not going to look sexy when everyone starts leaving the market and capitulating and panicking that's already happened a little bit and it's shown a lot of strength but that kind of thing can't go on forever it just can't it's a fact of the market it uh and, and this is evidence of how it can't go on forever right i mean if matic's already done this kind of drop before how can you possibly argue that it won't have another 76 percent drop within two months right i mean if it managed to do something like that you'd be looking at a terrible price target below even 60 cents right so my key point is that matic has done it before it can very well do it again it is not immune from these kind of drops and the key problem here is that if it does end up dropping back down uh you know we would be looking at that kind of one dollar area right around here which is actually a pretty good area of support there's some nice confluence around here some nice consolidation some nice support hits a nice little rejection right here as well from the one dollar area roughly and so this would be a great area for matic to drop down to if it did uh you know if, if it did get a breakdown from this rising wedge and i actually you know i wouldn't be surprised if this was a bottom uh the key problem with these kind of coins is that because they rise so quickly though uh you know they, they don't really es uh, establish support on the way down uh, i'm sorry resistance on the way up right so when it was rising up over here it didn't find resistance at all until it hit kind of the 54 cent area and then consolidated around the 40 cents area and not for long it only consolidated here let me just measure this really quickly for accuracy it only consolidated here for about 50 days that's a fairly long time frame to be fair but 
broadly speaking compared to the other price action is just really not that much uh, and then it continued to rally up all the way up to 78 cents and then up to two dollars 70 right and the key problem here is that because it managed to rise up so quickly it didn't really establish like for example between this big consolidation range right here at 30 cents i'm sorry at three cents and this big area over here at about 40 cents there's no trading right if i just draw two lines right here to make this very dramatic and clear for you guys you'll start to understand right now that matic had zero trading between these two price levels i mean it just zipped straight up like it was nobody's bloody business uh, i mean within 50 days it managed to multiply itself by like 10.5x which is absolutely ridiculous right if you had a dollar in over here you would have about uh i i don't know ten dollars i don't know i'm I'm really bad at math my god that was embarrassing uh but you would have a big percentage gain on your cash in a really short space of time which is absolutely fucking amazing when the price is going up but when the price drops you see really big crashes and again i know that this might not sound believable right now i know it probably sounds too premature to be even talking about this but you guys know that's why you come to this channel right i'm telling you about these possibilities before they look possible because I want to be able to game them, right? I don't want to be on the other side of it when the move has already happened. When I was warning you guys about this kind of thing happening to Shiba, I told you exactly the same thing. Shiba, between this pink line and its all-time high, just went up in a straight bloody line within, you know, I mean, just a matter of days. If we look at this on the four-hour time frame, just within a matter of days, it went up in a straight line. So I warned you guys that it's probably going to drop pretty quickly as well. And it didn't actually happen that quickly at all. But we are effectively just down to the same price target that I was warning you guys that Shiba could be looking at way down over here because it didn't manage to establish any resistance on the way up so how can it find support on the way back down it just bleeds out it just has abysmal performance bleeding out over those next few months because it didn't establish any support on the way up that's just the typical way that these markets move xrp is another beautiful example of this i know that you shitcoin warriors are going to hate me for this one so you can go do one for yourself right here because you're going to hate this even more you can dislike the video and unsubscribe on your way out. Uh, you know, XRP forms exactly the same patterns all the time. If we look at, um, what's a chart? Bitfinex is probably a good chart to illustrate this. Uh, you know, this is on the weekly time frame, probably going the daily time frame for uh, a little bit more drama. I mean, it, it does the same thing, right? It rises up really, really quickly. It doesn't establish any resistance on the way up. So it just drops down just as easily, right? We see this happening all the time, rising up really, really quickly, no resistance on the way up. So it crashes all the way back down. It's the classic pump and dump shit coin. I mean, this is really like a Stockholm syndrome situation where people who actually believe the shit these guys put out, uh, you know, I mean, that is an admirable level of stupidity uh really i i applaud it i mean that's it's rare to come by seriously finding people that are that consistently stupid uh you know the kind of people that believe in xrp congratulations you're top in the charts right there uh <laughs> and uh, and it's the same shit every time right the coin massively massively rising up no resistance on the way up so of course it doesn't find support when that crash inevitably does come and the reason that i'm bringing this stuff up to you is that it doesn't matter how good the coin is bitcoin is in my opinion the single best cryptocurrency that's out there and bitcoin still suffers big crashes it just doesn't matter how good the coin is if it doesn't establish support on i'm sorry resistance on the way up it's not going to find support on the way back down and that can mean that we are looking at a huge huge crash for matic if it doesn't manage to find support at that one dollar level because below the one dollar level the next area of support i'm seeing is going to be around this previous area of consolidation right here which is an 83 percent drop and below that i would be looking at a potential 98 99 percent drop to enter this range because this is the only real support that matic actually has in terms of a long time frame support right matic was trading around here for 600 days against the us dollar uh and so if we look at this i mean that is a 99 percent drop it is absolutely abysmal and the fact is, is that this is where the support is so if we're looking at a very long-term crypto winter and if for some reason matic just doesn't keep the level of hype and engagement that it has now and you better believe that that's possible because so many projects come and go it's just the nature of these markets i know that you're not going to like hearing this but if you just look at coin market cap and you look at some of the shit coins that were right at the top of the market and then have dropped down by 99 percent, it happens and i promise you right now i can put my hand on my heart for this that other people believed in those projects exactly as much if not more so than you believe in matic right now and they just couldn't accept the reality that these coins can drop down by 90 percent because they went up so quickly again this is not a, like it, it doesn't matter how good you think this project is bitcoin is an extremely strong cryptocurrency project 
and it still suffers drops like this, right? Bitcoin went from 20k, uh, from from 2k to 20k, didn't establish any sub, any real resistance on the way up, and so it just it crashed right back down and had an 85% correction, right? Bitcoin had an 85% correction. Even recently, Bitcoin didn't establish any real resistance on the way up, so on the way back down, it crashed down by 50%. Ladies and gents, if Bitcoin can do this, your shitcoin can do it too, and it can do it worse. That is the key thing that I want you to be very, very overtly aware of in this market right now. People will struggle to accept this kind of stuff, and that's why they ride these markets down. Uh, and, and they're like they're almost like the gold and silver bag holders, right? I mean, if we look at silver, the commodity. There are diehard fans of silver that just haven't been able to accept that their investment isn't going back up to that all-time high ever since, uh, you know, May of 2011, right here when it hit that all-time high of $47 per ounce uh, in in the uh, against the dollar. Uh, you know, I mean, people still can't accept this, right? And they've just been holding on to this bag for, I mean, a literal decade now, uh, more than that, and it's still not back up to those all-time highs. This is just the psychology of these markets. I know that you feel that this time is different, but it almost never is. Again, if it if it hasn't been different for Bitcoin, I don't know what makes you think that Matic, your Superman in, in shining armor, your, your knight in shining armor, is going to be any different to Bitcoin right here. Uh, you know, the one with an actual proven track record and, and something which is extremely functional. Uh, you know, if, if, if you think that this is going to be performing uh, worse than Matic or if you think that Matic is going to outperform Bitcoin in that way, uh, you, you really, uh, I mean, you, you are extremely optimistic about it. I mean, more, more power to you if you think that's the case. But realistically, I think most of us by now know that that probably isn't going to happen. But uh, I mean, look, this is all, it all presents really, really good trading opportunities. And I'm pretty sure, let me just double check this, but I'm pretty sure that Bybit actually allows you to trade Matic as well. Uh, this is going to be hard to find because they have so many pairs right now. Bam, right there. You can trade Matic right here as well. And you guys know that this is the only exchange that I'm using. So I am looking at making some trades on Matic as well if these kind of things happen. And of course, I'm going to be making all of these trades on Bybit only. So if you want to check it out, you're going to get up to $4,100 when you sign up using my link in the description down below. All you got to do is click on that link, sign up. It takes you about one minute. Make your first Bitcoin deposit. Again, I mean, max of like five minutes. It really doesn't take long to do this. And you're going to get a bonus of up to $4,100 for free just by using my referral link in the description down below. So if that sounds like a good deal to you, if you like free money for doing absolutely nothing, just clicking around your mouse for a little bit, uh, then you can do that to trade. Uh, and of course, uh, you get to keep all of those profits that you're going to make with that free cash as well. So if that sounds like a good deal to you, then bam, check that out right there. And if you want to be able to watch me trading in real time, these are the steps on screen right here. Of course, guys, uh, th the analysis that I give you is super, super realistic and my trades are exactly the same as well. So, uh, you know, if, if you like this approach that I take with my analysis and you want to see how that gets translated into my trades, these are the steps on screen. If you want to join Four Flies VIP, it's the first link in the description down below, then the at Four Flies button inside of my free Telegram channel where I'm giving you even more free analysis on these markets, just like these YouTube videos, and then send message to ask me how to join Four Flies VIP. And we'll give you all that information within five to 10 minutes. If I don't reply to you, one of my assistants definitely will within five to 10 minutes as well. And of course, uh, you know, those of you who do join VIP, most of you are going to get free access to my Four Flies Academy course where I'm teaching you all about, you know, all the analysis trading skills I know from A to Z, literally every base covered uh, so that you can completely come up to speed with exactly how I do what I do and how that translates into markets like Matic and so on. So uh, that I think is very, very useful. And just to lead on from here, you know, I want to expand on all of the Matic analysis for just a minute uh, as well. You know, th the thing is, is that, you know, I mean, there's a lot of short term bearish patterns that Matic could be printing right now. But one of the key ones that I want you guys to be looking out for is that if Bitcoin manages to get a reaction rally upwards, which is what I think it's going to do, I think that, you know, even though it looks pretty shit right now, and it might end up dropping a little bit, uh, you know, I am still expecting a, a relief rally of some sort, you know, I mean, nobody is talking about a relief rally right now, nobody can even accept that idea. And I'm sure if we look at the fear and greed index, we're going to see a pretty low reading of fear. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's at 29. It's not actually super low, but it's still in fearful territory. Uh, you know, I mean, to me, it, it, it's just an indication that, I mean, you know, it's so many people are fearful. So many people are going short on this market, right? I mean, if we look at, uh, you know, the um, the fear, what, what am I looking at? My favorites. If we look at the um, the funding rates in these markets right now, I mean, so many people are short in this market right now. Look at this, right? I mean, this is, this is similar levels to what we had when Bitcoin dropped down to 40K and then got the big reversal. 
uh, for what we're seeing right now with the funding rates, right? I mean, so many people are betting that this market goes down. If we get a small reaction rally, that ends up meeting a little bit more resistance at, you know, 50,000, maybe even $60,000 as resistance. And then we carry on trading down. That would be enough to potentially take Matic up to, uh, you know, a double top, you know, better, perhaps at about $2.66, which is actually pretty close to its previous all-time high. Uh, and then, you know, potentially allow Matic to, uh, yeah, like I said, form that double top bam right there top out over here top out over here and then drop down and that can give us the kind of local uh, uh you know uh, a, a kind of you know, full severe breakdown and, and by the way matic forms double tops a lot i mean we had a double top right here look at this bam top right here bam second top right here look bam right here second top right here it, it loves to form double tops and uh, and and that's why i think and look again i mean right here very very similar tops right here if we look at the candle closes i mean th this is this is what matic does one of its key characteristics is that it forms double tops and if it manages to do it again again these are the kind of things that can really take it down massively uh the good news is that if it does manage to break out of this thing i mean it could rally really hard even if the rest of the market in crypto is still really bearish because matic has had so much strength recently uh you know if it does manage to get a bullish breakout above kind of the two dollars sixty six area relatively soon uh well then i mean you know i mean the all-time high is going to be pretty easy to reach it's not very far away from there uh and i'm sure even three dollars and beyond can be on the horizon for um for matic if it manages to get these bullish breakouts because this doesn't have to be a bearish pattern it's just that it generally is right it generally is a bearish pattern the exact same pattern showed itself with bitcoin two times and broke down two times uh you know a very similar pattern to, uh, to this also happened with bitcoin recently and it got a 30 percent drop which is what i showed you earlier on in this video so it's generally a very bearish pattern in these markets it doesn't have to be sometimes these markets can actually turn patterns like this into a good thing and blast off higher it's not super common but it does happen in crypto more than it happens in other industries and i'm sure i can find you an example of this uh, probably not on Matic, but I, I can definitely find you an example of this on Bitcoin just to show you guys the other side of the analysis, right? Because one of the key things I have to be able to do as an analyst is question my analysis and challenge it so that I can make sure that I'm on the right track, right? It's an absolutely essential thing to do. Uh, I mean, look, here's another example of where it goes badly for the market where we form these kind of patterns and then bam, we break down, right? I mean, it's very, very common where it turns out to be a bearish pattern, but sometimes it's also pretty healthy for the market as well. So here's an example where it actually works out for Bitcoin. Uh, you know, we're forming exactly the same kind of pattern right here. We move up, we clearly lose a lot of strength. We start trading sideways. You'll actually see this with the RSI as well. If I throw on the RSI right now, look at the RSI. It enters a, um, oh, it doesn't actually. No, no, this is fine. Oh yeah, yeah, it does. It enters a bearish divergence. If we look at this on the replay up to about over here, and I throw a uh, throw a uh, vertical line right around over here, you can see that the market is trending up while the RSI is moving down, indicating that while the market is moving up, we are losing relative strength in this market. Uh, and of course, it turns out to uh, not really affect the market, and the market just continues pumping up from 47 all the way up to that inevitable high of $65,000. And so, uh, you know, I think it's very important to know that these things they can go either way, uh, but there is a very clear bias and that bias is generally a pretty bearish one so that is something that i wanted to draw to your attention with matic because i know that a lot of people are looking at it uh and and you know i wanted to give you guys my take on it as well because you guys have been asking me about matic for quite a long time and now you know exactly what my thoughts are on this chart so i hope you have appreciated this video i hope you have found it useful if you have and you appreciate these very grounded looks at these charts right i'm not here to uh you know lie to myself i actually want to make money right this is a really important thing is i want to make money in these markets and i don't i'm not here for fucking emotional highs i'm not here to to have a roller coaster of emotions and, and feel a thrill or anything like that right like I've, I've got an interesting life outside of crypto to be able to do that i am here just to make money and one of the key things i need to be able to do if that's my objective is to make money is look at these charts realistically and accept all possibilities and if you can't do that you're in a very very bad place in these crypto markets and you should probably just leave with whatever you have now because you're most likely going to lose it if you can't even entertain the idea that your investments go down so there you go you've got my thoughts on it right now they are not optimistic unless we get that breakout above two dollars 66 cents in which case this thing can go flying but for now it's in a very very bearish pattern i know that a lot of people aren't going to like to hear that but especially if bitcoin starts dropping down even more uh there's just no way that i see matic holding these gains and that's kind of the main thing that my analysis rests on right now is if bitcoin ends up dropping down even more towards that 30k level which 
again i don't think it's super likely but definitely possible uh I, yeah i think it would be game over for matic because like i said the key problem that it's going to be facing is that there is no real support on this chart right i mean if it doesn't find support with the chart that it's printed pretty much since may of this year it's not going to find support until it drops even lower down to you know 40 cents and and, and so on i mean ridiculously low levels uh and of course that would be very very bad for this market right again just to put this into perspective right i mean look all of the all of the trading since may pretty much happens above this blue line right here at 74 cents so if we don't find support anywhere in this range well then we would have to drop down i mean look because it's just a straight rise up on the daily chart it only took two days for matic to go from 37 cents to nearly to more than double and rise up to about 80 90 cents right and so uh you know this is going to be a very very sharp drop for matic if it ends up breaking this blue line and that's what i want you guys to be aware of right now is that coins that rise up so quickly like this they don't have a nice outcome if they enter a bear market and uh, and of course we are you know just kind of dancing on the edge of a bear market right now in crypto so that's i think very very important to keep in mind so there you go guys again hope you have enjoyed it you know what to do like subscribe tick the bell vip bam right here buy bit free money it's four thousand one hundred dollars it's a ridiculous amount of money they don't do this often if you actually it's the first time they've ever offered such a big deposit bonus uh to you guys on this youtube channel or to anyone as far as i know so if you do want to get access to it then again it's linked in the description down below if you already have an account you can just make another one and get this deposit uh and and play with it and have a little bit of fun of course it's always a good idea to have backup accounts and backup exchanges in case you ever have a security breach or any number of issues happen so this is well worth considering but with that again for maybe the fifth time i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye